This is a DIY multimedia dial. It rotates like a knob and clicks like a mouse. In this video, we'll show you how we built this and how you can make your own with just a few parts. It works as a USB controller that you can program to do just about anything you want. Inside the 3D printed knob is a rotary encoder and NeoPixel ring. As you turn the knob, the LED follows the direction. This uses the Adafruit HID library for CircuitPython. All of the key codes are listed in the docs, so it's easy to customize your own key commands. It's powered by Adafruit's Trinket M0, which is a tiny little microcontroller that runs CircuitPython and connects as a USB drive. With CircuitPython, you can quickly change the program to execute single keys or multiple keys. All of the electronics are housed in an enclosure that we designed in Autodesk Fusion 360. The case features standoffs for mounting the trinket with machine screws. We split the cover into individual pieces for 3D printing with a dual extruder. The inner ring is printed in translucent filament so the LEDs can shine through the top. To 3D print the top cover, we used an Ultimaker 3 and sliced the parts in Cura. A Trinket M0, NeoPixel ring, and rotary encoder is all you need to build this project. To assemble the circuit, we used a flexible PCB to extend the ground connections. This way, we can break out more pins on the Trinket M0. We'll need to make a few wires for connecting the NeoPixel ring and rotary encoder. You can follow our circuit diagram for referencing the various pins on the rotary encoder. The NeoPixel ring just needs power, signal, and ground connections. These wires are threaded through the holes in the top of the enclosure. The PCB fits into the cavity and it's secured in place. The rotary encoder is fitted through the hole and panel mounted with a washer and hex nut. All of the wired connections are soldered to the various GPIO pins on the Trinket M0. Some heat shrink tubing or Kapton tape can be used to keep these wires nice and tidy. Micro USB is accessible through the side. The top cover has a stem that press fits over the shaft of the rotary encoder. It's pretty responsive, so you can use it to edit videos, play YouTube, or even scroll through those long text documents. If you like this project, be sure to tune into our 3D Hangouts show where we'll take a close look at the details and even answer your questions live. Links are in the description of this video. I hope this inspires you to build your own USB devices and maybe even try using CircuitPython in your next project.